Before we jump into the declaration, it's vital to comprehend what molecule gas pedals are. The Huge Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and the world's biggest and most impressive atom smasher. It addresses the zenith of human logical accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it's strong to the point that it can reproduce the actual states of the universe's introduction to the world. But could this machine, intended to open the mystery of the universe, hold the way to something undeniably more unpropitious? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most renowned examination associations, with 23 part states and huge number of researchers. It's a center for cooperation and development. The LHC is CERN's leader project, yet it's only one piece of a tremendous organization of gas pedals and trials. Envision a circuit not so much for vehicles or ponies, but rather for subatomic particles in a test of skill and endurance and space itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on a crash course that imitates the energy of the universe at the hour of the enormous detonation. The impacts make temperatures multiple times more sultry than the center of the sun. Great many magnets guide the protons on their excursion, while unpredictable cooling frameworks keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The bars inside the LHC are made to crash at four areas around the gas pedal ring, relating to the places of four molecule locators, Mapbook, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills a one-of-a-kind need, investigating various parts of molecule physical science. Together, they go about as epic cameras, catching depictions of these crashes. Researchers then filter through the flotsam and jetsam, searching for indications of the slippery Higgs boson, otherwise called the God molecule, and different peculiarities that proposition hints to the universe's basic structure blocks. By concentrating on the microcosm, we gain experiences into the cosmos. Yet with each answer comes another inquiry, and with each disclosure, another test. The LHC isn't only a logical instrument, it's a demonstration of human interest and development. It typifies our tenacious quest for information and our longing to figure out the crucial powers that shape our universe. Yet as we push the limits of what we realize, we should likewise consider the moral and existential inquiries that emerge. What are the dangers of examining the obscure? Might our mission foreseeing unintentionally at some point open powers we have zero control over? In the consecrated lobbies of CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are continually pushed, a disclosure has arisen that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most prepared researchers. Brian Cox, a previous specialist at CERN and a voice of authority in the realm of molecule physical science, has as of late made a declaration that has left the world both entranced and unfortunate. Cox's words resound with tormenting lucidity. The objective of CERN's huge hadron collider is to reproduce a little huge explosion. Yes, you heard that right. A small rendition of the very occasion that brought forth our universe. The physicist likewise proceeded to make sense of the ramifications of this objective, featuring the LHC's remarkable potential for making new revelations. This incorporates its capacity to open the privileged insights of the Higgs boson and investigate dim matter, a puzzling substance that makes up a critical piece of the universe. Envision grasping the force of creation, the capacity to summon the actual embodiment of the universe. It's a tempting possibility, yet one full of peril. The scaled-down huge explosion isn't a hypothetical idea, it's a substantial reality inside the LHC. The temperatures, the tensions, the crude energy, all copy the states of the universe's outset. It's like remaining at the beginning of recorded history, seeing the introduction of presence itself. Yet with such power comes liability, and the inquiry looms. Consider the possibility that something turns out badly? As a matter of fact, Something did turn out badly back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky encountered a calamity that would perpetually change the direction of his life. While dealing with the UB-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a glitch prompted his head accidentally coming into the immediate way of a proton beam. The beam, with a power that defies comprehension, went through his skull, entering the rear of his head and leaving through his nose. Bugorsky's experience was extraordinary. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no pain. The beam's path resulted in a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone. Yet, he remained conscious and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both shocking and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. 
Yet, incredibly, Bugorsky's intellectual abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident isn't just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale highlighting the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks of an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the very fabric of existence being manipulated, these are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. One of the most disturbing and captivating concerns related to the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, and mysterious entities lurking in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such a substance, even on a minute scale, is both stunning and terrifying to the public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have assured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and vanish instantly. Still, the remote possibility has ignited debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's essential to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It involves the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so enormous that enough it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be pulled into it. This is a simplistic analogy for what could happen in the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both strange and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions might be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. This mysterious dance of particles has even captured the attention of some of the world's most renowned scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic event called vacuum decay, a cosmic phenomenon that wouldn't just destroy Earth but could collapse the entire universe. The esteemed British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book Our Final Hour, he explored the potential risks associated with atom smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words were not just cautionary but tinged with a sense of existential dread. He discussed a worst-case scenario where a failed experiment could trigger a condition known as vacuum instability. This instability could, in theory, set off a phase transition that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time, resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Rees's concerns were not limited to theoretical musings, he even assigned a probability to these disastrous outcomes, albeit a low one. But even a minuscule chance, he argued, should give humanity pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor-thin. The scientists at CERN have performed countless calculations, run simulations, and scrutinize theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself has acknowledged the importance of responsible scientific exploration, recognizing the widespread fears and concerns surrounding the LHC's activities. He emphasized that there are rigorous safety measures in place, extensive reviews, and protocols designed to ensure that the LHC's operations are conducted with extreme caution. Cox reassured the public that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally experiences and that the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if a black hole were created, scientists say it would be so tiny and unstable that it would dissipate in an instant, emitting a burst of energy in a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, a glimpse into the abyss, and then gone. Some have speculated further suggesting that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. This idea, though largely dismissed by mainstream science, has captured the public's imagination and inspired myths, fears, and even conspiracy theories. The concept of parallel dimensions isn't new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, proposes that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden within the fabric of reality, accessible only under extreme conditions like those created in the LHC. What lies beyond our universe? Could we accidentally unleash forces or entities we don't understand? The idea of opening a portal to hell has even been sensationalized in popular media, fanning the flames of uncertainty. 
But how did this notion arise, and what does it really mean in the context of scientific exploration? While such theories often straddle the line between science and fiction, they reflect humanity's enduring curiosity and its fear of the unknown. As we venture deeper into the mysteries of the universe, the questions multiply. How far should we push the boundaries of scientific exploration? What are the ethical implications of unlocking the secrets of existence itself? And most importantly, are we truly prepared for what we might discover?